and welcome. This video is about uh, the Calamari series. We've done already a video based on the template of an MBR system, so an older PC, and encrypt the root partition. That's it, just the root, no, no swap and no boot, for instance, no home, for instance. But I haven't made one with an EFI template, so I'm gonna make that one as well. So what we're gonna do is an Arch Linux system, encrypted, right? EFI, encrypted. And we're going to do it the easy way. What is the easy way? What do I mean with that? Clone and done. Optical, choose the ISO boot up. Move it to the correct screen. Oh, I've lost my error here. There it is. So what you missed now is the few uh, five, I think, white lines. Then it's going to boot up with a control F. I'm gonna go full screen. And if you're on VirtualBox, I don't think it, no, it's, it's much faster on uh, real metal, on uh, real hardware. But on VirtualBox, loading up EFI seems to take like forever. I don't know why it's up to VirtualBox developers to see why it's taking a break, but it's gonna load up. You see, I have just to wait till the lines pop up. In the meantime, let's see what I wanna do. I wanna run Calamaris and use the easy installer. So let him do it himself, not do a manual partition, but say, look, um, install me an encrypted partition and whatever, you know, no, no swap needed, just the plain simple first option that I would use in a non-encrypted system. So if you're ever wondering what is Eric Dubois doing on his machines, my installations are pretty straightforward. I do erase disk, next, that's it. So the only option I'm gonna do extra now is an encrypt the system with a password. That's what I would call an easy way to install everything. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM, so swap not needed for me. Hibernation, not done. I boot up, stay all day up, go to bed and shut down. No hibernation, sleeping, etc. needed. So who cares about swap in my case. So this is my setup, encrypted this time, next. If everything is okay, they just move along with the rest of the data here. This is, I think, most easy way to set everything up. Let Calamaris handle the GPT formatting and, and uh, naming. 300 megabytes is going to take for FAT32 and is going to be on boot and is going to create a device SDA file system is going to be Lux. Okay, so we're good to go. We trust those guys at the development center of Calamaris. And this is the critical part. Here you need to be hoping and, and crossing your thumbs. How do you say that? The expression in English, just hoping that everything just works out. And now you can relax. If it's saying filling up your file system, it's past the creation of all the partitions and the formatting and all that. If that was successful, that's when you get a break, then everything will work just fine. You'll boot up and uh, that's that. Let's wait for this installation to finish and pause the video. Okay, let's uh, check things out. Let's restart now. I'm done. This is how it looks. You want to load the grub, and it should be a lovely look, but no, he's going to ask, hey, uh, whatever you want to do, but first give me your password. So I'm giving my super complex password. So it needs to attempt to decrypt the master key, enter passphrase, etc. And it takes a while, that's the point of encrypting. You maybe lose a little bit, a little bit in speed, but it's uh, really gonna need a password before you can enter your system. So typically, uh, I personally, I won't do it since it's just for a home that I use it and at work as well. But I mean, it's just not feasible or important for me to actually use an encryption. 
But when you are on airports, for instance, and have laptops with you, then you want to encrypt your data because, frankly, there are important stuff in there people better not see. Then you encrypt your hard disk. So, oops, wrong type, wrong password. Mm -hmm. Super difficult password. And there you go. What did we do? We have an unallocated piece here. So two megabytes that got lost in the formatting. So the slicing of your hard disk, a slice that's left out. But here we start with the boot EFI, which is bootable. And here it does mention the ESP flag. That's the first time I've seen it. And when you do an encryption, it seems to set it and read it. And in the other videos, you'll see this in some other name mentioned there. And then we have here the encrypted dash, so the slash, sorry, is our home, sorry, our root. This is containing, home is containing root, so it's inside there. And another piece that's left out that you can't uh, use. So there you go, we have now an encrypted partition. So you have this thing here to, well, it's encrypted and it's up to you to decide if the speed you're going to lose a little bit is, well, okay, if you want to have an encrypted system. So it's it's a, a balance between these two. And it's up to you to decide. You see this, this menu takes a little bit longer. I have a feeling it's lagging a little bit. But that's okay if you're happy with it. All right, so next is all about choices. This is possible. You can encrypt your root partition if you like with Calamaris and enjoy Arc Linux.